My parents, uh, they both attended college, uh, and so they were very adamant about me going to college because it does open a lot of doors. Regardless of what I end up studying, they were just like, you need to finish school for something to have that sheet of paper that says that you can do it for four years. Um, and so my parents were a big pushing force, and ultimately my wife. Um, I, my wife is pregnant. She's eight weeks pregnant, nine weeks this week. And so I want to be able to provide a family for provide for my family to make sure that they have everything they could ever want for want. And so being a good father has always been a big dream of mine. And in order to be that, I have to have a good job, which requires a good uh, a college degree. I joined the military straight out of high school because I didn't know what I wanted to study. Um, and I thought that that would give me time to decide what I wanted to study. And ultimately, I, I, I'm still not fully set on what I want to do. And so I attended class or I registered for classes before at a different college, but never ended up attending because I ultimately decided that I wasn't committed to what I had registered for. And so I just did a refund and I had backed out of it. And so that was two years ago. And now I'm 25 and I finally sort of set on a path of what I'm looking to do. Um, and so that path requires me to have a college degree. And so I'm still sort of open to what I want to study, but I know that ultimately I need to have a four-year degree from an accredited university. And so that's like the next step towards becoming an adult or whatever, pursuing a career that can sustain my family and stuff like that. So that's why I'm attending college. So I, I'm a full-time student and I also work full-time. Um, and so that, that is a lot, but um, ultimately, like, I think money is a big concern for um, everyone, honestly, like, especially my generation, like, younger people have a hard time making the ends meet. And I think that's why sometimes, like, college is kind of pushed off because you're only, like, able to make it work now. Um, and if it weren't for the fact that I had the GI Bill and I also received, um, like, student aid to help make a cushion sometimes for days that I needed off, like, I think it would be pretty tight. Um, it would be kind of tough on me and my family. So um, I would say that for me personally, I feel fairly stable, but that's because I have certain benefits as a veteran. And so I could easily see why students might struggle because of finances. Ultimately, I did sort of expect it to be more challenging than high school, and it is. And that was not necessarily eye-awakening. Eye it's not harder per se that like the material is harder, but there's much more independence. And you often hear people say that in, in interviews and stuff like that, but it is true um, that you are just given a timeline. And for example, one of my courses, a teacher posted a timeline of this is what we'll be doing in class. And if you fail to do the homework due on these days, that's just on you. And it doesn't get brought up again. It's just something that you have to personally take account for like, oh, so I meet on this day, so I need to have the homework done beforehand. And there is a little bit more of a level of study. Um, I definitely didn't study that much in high school. I'm, I like to think I'm a pretty gifted student that I can just attend class and pick up a lot of stuff. But I did have a concern about the level of rigor. And I, I will say I'm pleasantly surprised that it is more challenging in that regard as well. Like, you definitely have to put in more effort on your own. And that's sort of refreshing. I'm a veteran. I served in the United States Marine Corps. Um, and so I didn't go through like traditional advising here or whatever. I went to the veteran center that we have on campus and the people there were actually there to help me to pick out classes and all that stuff. So I guess that equates to advising. Um, and they were really, really helpful. Like uh, one of the things that the military does great is that when you show up anywhere, they give you the sheet of paper and it tells you exactly who you need to see in what order. And you like, they're like, go to building 325 and talk to this person. And you're like, okay. So then you drive over to building 325 and you talk to this person. And that sort of carries over into the way that they handle things where it's very much so like, okay, so you're at this step. So the next step is this for you. And here's what we're going to do. And this is the next step. Um, and I think that's actually something that I found super helpful. Um, I think actually like we had even spoken about like maybe carrying that over to other students so that they could share that um, as a project that they're working on. Because like I, this is my first time attending college. So I don't know anything about picking professors. I don't know anything about what courses are hard or like what courses are good to start off with. And so like I don't know anything. And these are the experts and they're here to tell me like, well, you 
seemed like you would do good with this professor. Um, a lot of our students, a lot of our veteran students like this professor for this reason. Is that something that you would like? Like this teacher gives like really good um, like grades for homework if you're a really diligent homework person or this person gives very little homework if that's something that you're not interested in. So that was actually like really helpful and really awesome. And we didn't have like uh, like scheduled times, like they, their office is just open and you can just walk in and they know me by name even though they've only seen me probably like five, six times maybe. And they are like, oh, come on, have a seat, let's talk about your classes. Like, how is this? Do you like this? Maybe next semester when we're looking at classes, this is the sort of professor that you're looking for. So I feel like as a veteran, I've gotten a lot of really great treatment from the Veteran Center and I can't speak for the traditional advising, but that they've taken really, really good care of me. Being a, a good dad has always been like one of my dreams. That, that's like the only thing that like, ultimately I don't care what I do, but I want to be able to provide for my family. I want to be there to help my kid learn how to ride a bike or walk my daughter down the aisle or whatever. And you can't do those things if you don't have a good job and that you, you can't provide for your family. So ultimately I, I want to chase that dream. And so I won't, I won't stop going to school until I can finally do that. I would say the greatest challenge for me has been uh, finding a work-life balance with school and everything. Um, ultimately, school is very important to me, but that doesn't mean that real life is put on pause as I'm going to school and f making sure that I have time to write papers. Like, like I mentioned earlier, I was up till about 2 a.m. finishing a paper for a class today, so I woke up late and didn't shave. Um, but trying to get, get all those things sorted out has been a hard juggle, but a good one. I guess you could say I'm an expert juggler, uh, at least in regards to time, I guess. Um, for me, I guess it's sort of like priorities, you know, like I want to spend, you know, I want to eat, eat dinner with my family. I want to be able to sit and spend time with my kids and watch a show with my wife or something, you know, while she's awake. And ultimately that puts like my schoolwork on the back burner. That means like sometimes I do end up staying late at night trying to finish stuff up for the next day. But for me, that's the priority that I, I have in my life. Like my, my family comes first, even though school is super important to me and I strive to do really well. Like ultimately, like if my kid needs something or my wife needs something, I want to take care of them first. I, I think last time I mentioned that I was 100% confident um, and now I would definitely say it's closer to 80, maybe a little bit less. Not because the, the work is hard, but uh, due to like financial reasons and other things outside of school itself, I may put a hiatus on going to school, but it's one of those things like that's sort of, no one just like drops out. They like, oh, I'll put this on pause and then it stays on pause until, you know, who knows when. So I would say I'm closer to 80% now.